Hello everyone and welcome back to Surviving Mars. How good of you to join. Thank you all for your continued support. Also my Patreon supporters. Thank you for everything. And we continue on what's your Soul 11 right now on 1000% um, difficulty. And yeah, right now we are in the process of finishing our first dome. That's pretty important um, because the rocket with the passengers is already on its way. And yeah, well, they need a dome to live in, of course. And that's what we're preparing right now. New planetary anomalies have been found. Five that's out here. Nothing that I can do about them at the moment because I cannot send a rocket over there. We're still in the middle of an electric static dust storm. Problem with that is I can't produce any more fuel for the moment. Um, and also we are not able to yeah, power our moxies and water extractors. The good thing is though, we have stored some in advance quickly, um, the little we had. So at least for the first people, we have some stuff prepared. The building materials are in. And as we can see, my drones with combined forces are now building that very first dome for my people. Another very important moment. Now sector A4 has been scanned. Nothing unfortunately over there. So we are continuing now with sector C4. That's not look looking really promising to be honest. Yeah, let's just finish this one up and then we go down here into the lower side where we already have that ramp um, built up. Speaking about ramps, we could also have this one here now being accessible to us. And we have the wall for protection already, right? So in that case, let's go ahead and do this. Landscaping project number two, building a ramp from up here all the way down this will cost me nothing it will just give me an excess of 165 waste rockets my commander is on its way and we will also need a of course dumping site close to it somewhere over there dome has been finished oh yes there it is in all its glory however it doesn't have power yet we will definitely need to make sure that we power this one with our official network so let's go up here once again i need to go around it though for now because we do not have um this dome here used once this dome is finished we can get rid of that cable here again because that dome will then just transmit water and power over and this one then over here but for now though as i want to focus on the central one it's just how it goes the extractor is also being produced now being constructed let's go ahead and also get us a power cable to this one Right, and also what this whole thing here needs is a dumping site. All right, with that out of the way, dome is coming along. Um, as we can see, oxygen and water consumption is now going up. That's because the dome is consuming this. And also power is going up, the consumption of that. Um, we can turn it off for now because I don't need it and save oxygen and water. Uh, let's also change the skin <laughs> of this dome. We have different skins. If we have the time for it, we can, of course, focus on that a bit. I like this one. Yeah, that's fine. And let's go ahead and build us something within the dome. Um, the first basic infrastructure that every dome needs. Um, that's actually quite a lot, right? A grocer store would be important. So what do we need for that very first one? Um, the grocer, as I said. Uh, we're going to put it into the center. We're also going to need a, a, a space bar. This is pretty important because it gives me a relaxation, drinking, and the social skill. Don't forget, party animals like social stuff, and they will get a higher comfort rating with that. Let's go ahead, build us a space bar. A small one though should be fine. Infirmary, very important that we get this one on the way. Here babies will be born and also sanity losses will be uh, cured. Every infirmary also increases then the comfort rating and it's very important that we have one of these in it. So with that, we already fulfill food and shopping, socializing and dining, and also um, our health bonuses. Next up, we do need some housing. Uh, we do have a couple of them available. The, yeah, the living complex is probably the one that I would go for. We do have resting residences, recover comfort faster. And yeah, it houses 14 people in it. So we can, oh, wait a second. I think that is actually better. Yeah, let's go with the living quarter. I think that is having a higher um, comfort rating in the more quiet area we can have them over here and they also have then a smaller garden in the center let's actually build them like this because there's going to be a connection with that dome and there's going to be a connection with that dome at some point they need space as well that's something that's coming along um another very important thing of course beside all of that is gardens we don't have them yet so let's get them, them down here in the relaxation area, a park and also a smaller garden. So we got at least two of them. And last but not least, very important, and that is a farm. Now the farm I'm not 
I'm not really going to keep, I think. I'm just going to get them for safety reasons first and to get the milestone done. Plus, it's very cheap. But the farm is something we really don't need in the first 100 or 200 souls, to be honest, because I usually like to import food um, with the excess concrete that we have. Let's build it still, for starters, and li later we can make a park out of it. Very nice, a rare metals extractor also coming along, and the low G turbines has been upgraded or researched, so we can upgrade it now. Uh, dust storm still 18 hours, that's bad for us. Rare metal extractor has been built, we can pause it right away. And also, as we can see, construction of this very first basic dome starts now. It's going to take a while, and it's going to take a lot of uh, resources, especially my concrete. But that's why we piled it up. And another international milestone has been achieved. That is the first humans on Mars. We lose that as well. Was to be expected. It, I have never really made it so far. Ah, that we can see it. International Mars mission offers a 61 food for 50 concrete. Um, I'm going to wait on that, but we can accept. Next research has been completed. The upgrade for the moisture vaporator. And that unlocks us exactly what? Uh, nothing really useful. <laughs> Let's go ahead with some more basic stuff. Transport optimization, the transporter gets faster and can transport more goods. And also scientists and botanists have 10 performance. Now we don't have any specialists at the moment, thanks to the difficulty, they are all untrained, but at some point we're going to train them, we get the performance boost, and also we unlock more social stuff down here then. Um, that's another thing that I need to do. We lost a power cable here thanks to um, a leak. So we need to build that power cable here again quickly. And since my metal is going down, we actually might also get us some more metal in now with my transporter. There we have 176, lots of it. This unfortunately is also an area where there's lots of storms. So let's just hope that I have it long enough <laughs> because otherwise we would have a problem. Another sector scanned, unfortunately only some metal. Meteor storm is now upon us. In addition, that means we need to be now very careful about any kind of meteor hitting somewhere. We need to move it out of the way. And the storm is lasting for two more hours and then we have at least survived that as well. The power actually lasted us quite some time through all this storm. So my drone hub was able to continue to work. And I didn't waste anything else. The dome is coming along, so as we can see. Infirmary finished, dining finished, storm is over, it's getting a bit brighter again. Hello, son. Good old friend. Welcome back. Oh, yes. And my panels are working again. Let's resume the fuel refinery. And let's also resume the water extractor. Back on track here for production. And let's also resume our concrete extractors because we do need more of that. Pretty soon. Farm is also coming along. Two parks should be fine, right? With the amount of vistas we have, comfort rating should be really high. And let's also prepare our workforces right away. So in the grocer, we are going to have two shifts. The infirmary is going to have three shifts with each one person working in it. The space bar is going to have two shifts with two person. And the rare extractor is going to have one shift for now. Um, but we can amplify it already. Mm. It would produce or it would consume 10 more electricity, which is a lot. We're not doing this at the moment. Even though I could afford it. Let's do this. Let's build some more panels. Um, yeah. Along this area here, we have the batteries on top of it. What is going on here? Oh, lightning strike. All right. Not working. And let's also get us a few more panels out here reason for that is we want to spread it as you can see lightning strike the same goes with the meteors can easily take down your whole production and we have the cable already in this area we can just really draw it over and then make the connection here all right one of the leading companies in the field of nanotechnology and miniaturization has made you an interesting offer they want to outsource the r d of their news project prefab compression a technology that could potentially allow us to transport prefabs of monumental buildings from Earth. They have a list of specific requirements which makes us the best candidate for this. Mm, we could accept logistic aid and gain 150 sponsor research. We also could get 500 million. Um, of course we go with the 500 million because with that we can have two outsourcings of research and we get the, pre, uh, the prefab compression either way 
right? Let's get with the money. And this allows us now to outsource. And we get, for 200 million, a thousand souls. That's a way better deal, to be honest. Alright, yeah, machine parts is going down at this point, as we can see. We will soon need to import more. The dome is finished in all its glory. The additional consumption um, of electricity we are providing right now. Uh, let's also get us another battery out there. Anomaly found. Once again, we're spreading it. Ah, we found an anomaly. Perfect. Let's send my explorer down there. There's some meteors coming down here, as we can see. Uh, there's no storm, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, Armageddon is upon us once more. Uh, that poor explorer, he's going to be in for a treat. How can we do this? Where is he anyway? Oh, he's down here, perfect. He's already past the point of no return. So he's down there. However, my transport is lost to this, as we can see. So once again, we need to wait for this to get over and then send our commander down here to repair it. I hate those storms. Explorer, meanwhile, is still safe and sound, but it's looking a bit dusty. But that's to be expected, of course, from wherever we are here. It's actually getting more dusty the further we will go down. Ooh, there's another meteor. The cool thing with the meteors is they can actually also give you some anomalies, right? Besides some resources from time to time. Lucky us, most of the meteors are going down down here at the moment. It could still shift up to my base there, of course, anytime. 80% with the rocket. The first humans are coming in really soon now. Do we have everything prepared for them? We got the workspaces. The dome is ready. Food would be ready too if I want to spend the concrete. All right. I can't risk waiting for this one here all the time. So let's send in the commander and repair the transporter. They're not that close at the moment anyway. Come on, hurry up. Do it. There it is, perfect. Let's actually have the transporter transporting good up here, right? And get it back to the base. There's less storms down there. The commander, meanwhile, moves back home to the base. We have finished the next... No, we haven't finished it yet. So let's get the commander actually to the landscaping. Researching the analysis uh, anomaly is now coming along. Halfway there, perfect. Resources are low. What resources? Power, I guess. Oh yeah, with all the stuff that's going on now, especially the dome, we are consuming. But it should be fine. The next solar panels have been finished and the battery is coming along. Another research completed thanks to um, getting 1,500 science points out of the anomaly. That's what I like to see. And with that, we are now working on the optimization. Anything else that we have unlocked so far that would give us a bonus? Nothing. <laughs> Unfortunately, nothing anywhere to be seen. Yeah, let's also go with the drone hubs here because that's just cheap and we want to unlock more things at this point. Um, we also got the old spires can be ordered as prefabs, breakthrough, no no um, permanent pipes though at the moment. I would really like this. 93% for my first humans. Can they land in a meteor storm? I wonder. I guess we'll find out. And let's also open up that trade offer here and yeah, accept. Let's pay 50 concrete for... 81 food, so the the rocket will now lo uh, land from my competitor and we will then deliver the concrete out of my two factories here. Sector scanned. Oh, there's 3,000 concrete in that sector. Not something that I really need. What to do with my explorer? Uh, let's send him to the ramp there first. I think here he's a bit safe, right? I hope so. Uh, meteors are going down in this area. By the way, we should we should really scan this area then. So many meteors, there has to be anomalies coming out of that. Ooh, there is one. Let's send the explorer right away. Sorry, pal. I'm confusing you. Off he goes. To a new adventure. <laughs> the poor fella. Out here in nowhere. But at least that's an anomaly. And every single one of them is important. Passenger rocket ready to land. We need to activate the dome. There it is. It needs to be repaired <laughs> for once. It just needs one concrete really. It was inactive for too long already, but my one of my drones should do the, the, the trick. 
Actually, do we need the farm? I don't really need the farm. I would like to keep the farm for my for my milestone here. Produce food. Yeah. It's 250 soul. Is it worth it? I don't know. There's the rocket of the competitor. So we fill in now the concrete with my drones. And then get food out of in return. The dome is being repaired right now. There it is. It's working. And now we can land the rocket. And with that, ladies and gents, the first humans on Mars arrive. Let's activate our rare metal extractor. They're going to be in for a ride. <laughs> and hopefully they're going to start producing us babies. That's the most important thing. Right now. Because we can't get any more humans from Earth. Right? We will have to live with those 12. There they are. Coming into a working colony. Let's not mess things up too much, please. And there they are. Magic. Dum, da -dum, da -dum. And let's hope no one of them dies right away to a storm. There we got him. Erling. Who's next? Tyria. And Salomon. And Sten and Nicole. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this monumentous occasion. Breathe in the fresh air. Oh, with that, we have also gotten one of our first goals here, land a colonist on Mars. We get a Jumpus Shuttle Hub Prefab. That's a mission goal here, by the way. And that's that. A new beginning, full of hope and determination. The first founders have set foot on the Red Planet. The next 10 souls will be full of difficulties and dangers, but also with great promises and opportunities. It is now to us to provide that Mars can be a doorway to greater riches and the future of human civilization. Even the most epic adventures begin with a single step. Arrival of the colonists temporarily suspends until the colony proves it is able to sustain human life and the colony will be evaluated. We also, ah, out of the anomaly, got 1,500 science points. With that, we have finished the optimization. And unfortunately, still haven't really reached anything useful. This is just really bad at this point. Come on. Nah. None of them is important. Yeah, let's do the mission. Analyze space telescopic data. And by the way, money-wise, no, I'm not outsourcing anymore. I think we're going to need machine parts soon. Founder stage with that has been activated. So these guys are the founders now. They're the, the most important people ever. And they're going now over here to that dome. With it, there's also some 12 food on board. Um, we're going to stop food in these depots here. Because food needs to be transported over to the dome right away. It's going to be active over here only. And hello! There they are. Finally you can take off that spacesuit and breathe in the fresh oxygen produced in my moxie. They're going to their homes right away. Let's just check it out here. Our ratings. 12 people are in it now out of 12, so we can't have any more at the moment. Yeah, to be honest, uh, let's wait for the soybeans here to finish. Nah. Let's get rid of the farm. I'm sorry, but it's it's totally worthless to us. Um, I, I screwed the 250 science points. Let's clear it. And that's it. The grocer receives the first batch of food, so we can sell this to the people. Every workplace is now filled, as we can see. Also the bar. By the way, the space bar. Let's make all shifts viable. We need that. And also, my rare metal extractor is now working. The full shift producing me 1.8 rare metals per day, per soul. That is really important, because with that we can now make money. And they live here now. We do actually need another yeah, apartment soon. Infirmary is important. Because with that, we will be able to scooly poop. And average health is 100. Okay, they just arrived. Sanity is 100. Comfort rating is 70 at the moment. It needs to stay above 70 for us to have a sustainable birth rate. So this is really important that we boost this um, at all times. The two vista points will help, but... They alone will not be enough. Systematic training finished, so another performance boost. And come on. 
Another very bad tech. I can't do anything with those techs that we have. All right, so we do now consume oxygen and water and we do consume a lot of electricity. I will need to add more solar panels now. To all of that, I think we actually don't have enough. I should have done this now before they arrived, but it's fine. Let's build us a few more here. And let's connect them with the, the main grid, right? All the way up here. And then also here. We connect those panels now with us, with our general system. Of course, as always, I like to spread out my panels there as much as possible with one main base over there. And I think with all of that, can we still charge the batteries then fine? I think I will need another battery as well. Let's just wait it out. From now on, very important, the dome should never run out of electricity and never run out of oxygen, water and food. If that happens, we get a massive comfort boost a penalty that will reduce my birth rate so I can actually screw this game right away. We do need to... It is so important to get babies out as soon as possible because those people now age. We have 12 adults, they become middle-aged pretty soon, stay there a while and then become seniors and will not be able to reproduce. So the first 12 will then die at some point and by then we need to have way more than 12. Otherwise we are shrinking and that is something I really don't want. Um, let's go ahead and build us another living quarter for the first babies then to arrive. I might also build a plague. No, no, let's let's keep it like that. A apartment and I would like to have another park. Right, let's have the park somewhere here. I think the... Oh, wait a second. Let's have the park in the background. Makes more sense. We could also make a pond out of it. Let's make a pond. Some water. And anomaly. Very good. Not that far away. So right here where the, the meteors are going down, we get a lot of anomalies right now. And my explorer is on his way. My transporter is jobless. Let's give him something to do. There is some metal over there. Let's get this to the base. Right, hope they're living in. Already going for some shopping. Bringing life to Mars. That is the important thing here now. Right, we are also having no food anymore then. So this is where the rocket comes in. Are uh, we still loading, though, the concrete, right? This is still going to take a while. But it's fine. Ramp has been finished. That means the... Let's get the commander back to safety. Back to the base. And out here... Uh, I will probably... Wait a second. Have him here. Can he reach the... Uh, yeah, he can reach the, the depot. Right, and then this side here, so that we can also build us another landing pad somewhere out here as a buffer to that ramp, just in case there's anything coming in. Perfect. Sector scanned. Sector A1, some metals at least. And we're also researching the anomaly. Perfect. Production has started for the rare metals. And refueling of the rocket has also started. Now, the refueling is going to take a while. But we have a bit of time now. I'm waiting for the exports to come in. There's the first rare metal already. And with that, we'll then make some money. And we're going to need that money soon. Anomaly, 1,000 points. Finally, we do get some research points out of it, right? Drone Swarm finished. We finish, We start now the Analyze Space Telescope data. And I will... Whew, bah, a drone assembler. I don't need that. This is also bad. There's no tag really that would help me right now. There's also no break tag. I could just go ahead with a with a breakthrough. I mean, the mission there is a breakthrough. That that's that. Yeah, another performance boost then for engineers and geologists. It's good to have it now. We do need it at some point anyway. But that's it. Nothing else we can do research-wise. Power-wise, we have a surplus of 40 during daytime. There's more panels coming along. I still have some polymers left build me another battery. However, each one of these batteries, of course, also costs maintenance. Uh, we need to be careful about that. Still, I would like to have a surplus. There is no polymers anywhere, right? No. Also not down here. No polymers. We're starving of that soon. And with that, Soul 14 is coming to an end. That was a very successful day. We got the first people on Mars. They're now accommodating themselves, starting to get comfortable in their workplaces. Um, and then we will just continue growing, hopefully, 
and also of course starting to make some money for additional research and stuff like that. Stay tuned!